What's up tribe and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you are new here, my name is Mariah. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all where I got everything in our playroom and this little mini series. I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Okay, so when it comes to toys, a lot of the toys we have are from the Love Every brand. If you don't know about the brand, they provide subscription-based play kits. However, they've been branching out lately into stores like Target in order to allow customers to buy specific toys versus the entire kit. They are Montessori as well, so lots of plays on woods and color dynamics, and frankly, a lot of toys that they have to kind of think and work through. But not everything in here is a Montessori toy. It's just that the majority of our collection does follow along Montessori lines. Okay, starting from the bottom, we have our Melissa and Doug Abacus. One of our newer Love Every puzzles. They have a lot of matching puzzles, which I appreciate because it's about association. Also, it's about manipulating these pieces because a lot of times, as you can see, Rain will put pieces upside down in and try to manipulate them until he can figure out which way they go. But I do tend to like the amount of detail and the realism in these puzzles. Up here, we have the magic tissue box and it basically it works on their pincer skills and also also shows them to kind of work at finding things that just because something isn't visually in front of them doesn't mean it's not inside. Basically you pull one tissue up at a time and another one pops on out through. They're all interconnected so each time you refill it you have to connect them again but this kept him entertained for at least 20 minutes at a time. Next we have the library wooden peg drop so as you can see all the pegs are there you press this in and they drop down. Next, we have the rainbow spinner, which as you can see, it makes quite a bit of noise. And there's different colors on each side. So this one pretty much holds their interest because the combination of the noise and flipping through the different colors. Then we have our rainbow stacker from Amazon. So this is one of the smaller rainbow stackers. So of course it's a little less expensive than the larger ones. This one is the flexible wooden stacker. This is also from Love Every, but there's basically these rings here that can stack. And this wooden doll is actually really flexible. He's actually tipped this upside down and spun it around a lot. So there's a couple of different ways that they can play with this one. Here we just have a wooden rattle from Amazon. There's a few different companies who sells them and they also come in a natural wood color, but I opted to get the one that has mostly primary colors on it and some other secondary colors. It also collapses and is pretty pretty flexible and stands up to baby teeth. Next we have a collection of puzzles from Melissa and Doug. This is one of his favorites currently. I like that the knobs on these are large because that's what he tends to grip a lot better is the large wooden handles. He actually really enjoys this one and caught on to where each item went pretty quickly. He's got this one. This one which is miss missing our fish but has animals in it and then that one there that's in the back. What's holding Holding all the puzzles is just up and there they go. This little rack that all the puzzles are held on is actually from Ikea. I believe it's ranges somewhere between six and eight dollars. It could have been a little bit less. I honestly don't remember this one, but it can hold up to six puzzles. So I usually store the majority of the larger puzzles that can fit in these cubbies on here. So this right here is like the magic tissue box, but it's a lot smaller because it's actually a bank set. So it comes with a lid for cotton swabs, which you see poking out of here. And they basically just work on their fine motor skills sticking the cotton swabs into these holes. Comes with three lids, one for the cotton swabs, one for these carrots to go into. So they pretty much just go through like so. And then lastly, there is one for these little coins that pretty much he still has a hard time with these. So we're still working on our pincer skills and dexterity with manipulating shapes at different angles so that they fit. This is our sensory pouch. That's good for a game of hiding and finding things. It is reversible right now. It just has one of the sensory balls in it which is a weighted ball. There's a set of two. I can't find the other one though, but here's the heavy one and then there's a lighter one. This is literally just our overflow shelf and also where I keep his magnetic letters at for the magnetic chalkboard wall. On the next side, we have our Baby Einstein piano, which just comes with the little cards of sheet music in it. Up on this shelf, we have more puzzles. These are actually from Amazon. We haven't opened them up yet though because he's more recently started to get into puzzles and I don't want to overwhelm him. But this set of puzzles 
pieces comes with, as you can see, shapes, which you focus on shapes and colors. There's also numbers, letters, modes of transportation, dinosaurs, and animals. This whole set came together as well as the rack that they are housed on. Over here we have our bubble machine. I know it's not technically a toy but it is something for their enjoyment. So this bubble machine is a portable one. It does take batteries or it, like we have it here you can just plug it into the wall. We have some musical instruments over here which are part of a larger set. The rest of that set being down here and some are put away. This specific set is decent quality. I've read a lot of reviews went through a lot of sets on Amazon and a lot of them complain about them being a little bit like dangerous or having sharp edges or splintering and we haven't had any issues with that with this particular set. We have over here it's kind of hard to see but a little rainbow unicorn poppet. I believe this was from Five and Below. And we have another rainbow stacker. This one has a lot more muted color tones to it, but there are some that have like different textures as you can see, as well as some letters and some animals on it. This is one of his favorites as well. I don't know why it is. I don't know if it's just the stacking itself or the texture of it, but hands down, he's played with this the most consecutive months in a row. Then we have some hand puppets, which are also from Amazon. My dad actually got these for him. Um, they're a little bit small to be honest for an adult's hand. They are much better suited for children's hands or adults that have really small hands. So that's just something to be aware of. Although they have stood up to a lot of pulling and tugging at them so they don't rip easily. This little guy here is the Skip Hop Avocado Guitar. He also really likes it. Never actually holds it like a guitar but he does really like it. Um, it does make a repetitive noise. And the little avocado seed here, it makes music when it is rolled. So if that's going to annoy you, <laughs> probably not the best toy to get, but he likes it. I don't really mind it. And it's, it's super cute. It's avocado. These dice sets are all from Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack. So the orange, the green, and the blue come in separate packs. So these were like $3 for them all. They are foam. Pretty hard solid foam though. Not probably the best thing to get if your kid is still into like biting off chunks of stuff. I have not had my kid test that yet. He has no interest in biting these, uh, but does like to stack them. So if you're looking for something that's like inexpensive for them to stack or things that involve counting, this in my opinion, is a very affordable solution. This is the fuzzy bug shrub. It actually comes with bugs inside of it. This is what they all look like, a very vibrant set. But basically the Velcro bugs, you can just stick them on. And that's all they do. Once again, practicing those fine motor skills, practicing using two hands to complete a task. And then this is another bowl draw from Amazon. You can find a ton of these from Amazon, but honestly, if you were gonna go for a, a bowl drop that's like this with the price of them, to me, it's better to get one of the Love Every Kits that comes with the ball drop in it, as well as two extra balls. It's honestly more, a little bit more cost effective in my opinion. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom row here. So in the first cubby, we have some silicone blocks. They do all connect together to each other. So there's shapes, numbers, different textures, fruits, animals, and I believe there are also may or may not be letters on some of these, but and this particular set also comes with three additional shapes. Then we have the race and chase ramp. So it is basically a race ramp that comes with two cars. You put the cars on top like so. We have another Love Every Toy. This one is the wooden stacking pegboard. So basically you have this pegboard in here. Okay, so with the pegboard, they can put the pegs directly in these various holes or they can opt to stack them. Yeah. His next favorite is this ball tower. So for this one, there are a number of doors that they can access the balls from. So there's this door, this door, this door, another almost like the magic tissue box door or window here. Stick the ball in, 
push it down. Entertainment for hours. And the balls are right in here. Then we have a circle friends puzzle. So this is a puzzle that focuses on size, which it still takes them sometimes a minute to remember that only one size is going to fit each of these perfectly. But this is another one that he likes to play with a lot. He gets a lot of satisfaction out of completing certain puzzles. Then we have our little mini car collection. These are by B Toys. At least the front six are. The two that are in the back are actually from Ikea and he has a couple of more there from the Ikea train set. He's very much into cars right now. Things that move and can spin and that he can roll and push across the floor. So this particular set is pretty durable especially because none of the wheels even with him like crushing them. None of the wheels have broken off or got misaligned or anything like that. So I recommend these. This one right here is is our sliding top box which focuses on a problem solving so basically there are two sides to the box they put the ball through on one side and then they have to slide the door in order to get the ball out of that side and it just literally is a game for them that goes back and forth another one that he tended to focus on for probably about 20 to 30 minutes at a time and then we have one of his more recent faves which is the fisher price little people's fire engine it doesn't actually have any of the little people because this is another hand-me-down it does make some fire engine sounds it does sing a few songs and this one is also another one that rolls really well across the floor moving on to the other side we have this Montessori ball, which is also available at Target. It is by Love Every. So it comes in a kit or you can get it singularly from Target. We have this one, which is the bunnies in the barrels. So it comes with the barrel and it also comes with the three bunnies that go inside. And we have these three, which are also from Love Every. So this one is obviously like a musical rattle. This one is a puzzle. So they open it up. This is like one of the first initial puzzles. And then this one, is for pincer practice. So they usually practice passing this from hand to hand to work on their pincers. Then on this side up here, we have his wobbler toy. This has also been one of the longtime favorites from Love Every. They have this bag, which has the needle and thread toy that I'm gonna insert a clip of here. This is also one of those that requires a lot of uh, focus and you may have to sit with them a few times to kind of show them how to manipulate the beads, rings, and quote unquote needle and thread in order to be able to get them all on the string and off the string for that matter. We also have a set of spinners. This is just one of them, but basically you attach them to a window and These are also from Amazon, highly entertaining for them, especially during travel. Next, we have our Love Every Tunnel, which we have been using this thing for months now. It's easy to pack up and travel with. It does collapse on itself, so it's really small and easy to put away and out of the way. Also, this has been pretty easy to clean as well, as you can tell, like sure it has some cotton on it from the carpet, but overall it has not really gotten dirty per se. And even when it's gotten little things on it, it's very easy to wipe off. Okay, now once we get over here to the play kitchen, as you can see, we got some things in there and some things up here. So this utensils little set, they come individually from the Dollar Tree. They are small enough to be kid size, so you can use them as toys, but they are actual cooking utensils. So these are just made from silicone. Uh, they're very flexible, very durable. So literally just buy them from the Dollar Tree, throw them in the dishwasher on the top rack, and then Put them in your play space. And then we also have some more wooden things for the kitchen. So this little egg set here is from Target. Literally is in the dollar bullseye section at Target. This was $3, although I had to take two of them off because they did have splits in the wood. So I have to basically fix and refinish those two eggs, but the rest are in good condition. Then the rest of what you see in here came in a set. So aside from these eggs, all of this came in one set. It's actually a century set for the century table over there, but for right now we are strictly using it for basically pretend kitchen play. But it comes with like a little scooper, a very, very small cup that's perfect for their hands, a pot which does have a lid on it. I just have not been able to locate that at the moment. Wooden plate, another scooper that's a little bit of a different shape. 
and then a very, very small cup slash bowl. So that's all for our toy tour slash toy collection, guys. Hopefully you found some things that potentially have piqued your interest to buy for your kids or your future littles. While I do have some singular gems in this collection, I do highly recommend Love Every. Their play kit subscriptions make things so much easier and it's so much simpler because it just literally walks you through each stage and is curated specifically for their developmental stage. So that's pretty much it for this video. Definitely make sure you guys go and enter into the giveaway. Make sure you follow all the rules to ensure that your entry is valid. I hope you all are having a wonderful and amazing week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.